This is the show where we review pizzas for you and your family. This week's pick is the Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Cheese Pizza. Riker picked a cheese pizza this week as our pick. I'm sorry, I just wanted to. This episode's pick is Brew Pub Pizza's Lots of Matzah Cheese Pizza. It's probably made with Wisconsin cheese. The cooking instructions were on the back of the pizza. And they gave you a warning, do not eat pizza without cooking. Thank God for that. And then also they tell you it's about 18 to 23 minutes at 400 degrees, not 425 like usual. Our first rating is packaging. Like what's a pizza look like when you get it? And like many pizzas today, these are just vacuum sealed. And like it is solid. Like nothing came off when I took the plastic off. And usually you get some cheese flake off. But not with the lots of matzo. This was frozen solid, and I gave it a, a 9 out of 10 on packaging. What is great about these plain cheese pizzas is you can add any ingredients you want to it. It's a great base. Um, and look at the, the big just chunks of mozzarella that they have on here. You know, it's not like that thin shredded cheese. We watched our pizza closely and we took it out at 17 minutes, a little bit shorter than the 18 to 23 that they suggested. Um, I think if you left your pizza in there for more than 20 minutes, it would be burnt. So you really got to watch it with these. They're kind of a thin crust. But overall, it looked great coming out of the oven. All right, so we let the pizza cool down a little bit before we tried it because the sauce was very, very hot. Um, and upon cutting it, we noticed that the cheese really was stuck to each other. Even after you cut it, it would just be really stringy coming off the pizza. Um, how did you feel about the cheese topping? The cheese topping was kind of too sticky like that. Mm-hmm. And, and it's kind of super, super squishy. Super squishy? Yeah. Do you feel the cheese topping was greasy at all? I feel it. Super hot. Super, it's super hot, yeah. After 17 minutes, almost, Yeah, and too. kind of greasy. And a little bit greasy on the top, yes. I noticed that it was a little, yeah, it's got the, the grease test. Sure made my finger, you know, shiny. Um, sauce taste. What do you think of the sauce? Sauce? I really, not really great because at the bottom of one of my pieces, it did cool it. It did like froze it up, like like connected to other sauces. So there was a chunk of sauce not on uh, the area of pizza. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't look it. Oh, okay. Um, how do you think about the crust? The crust. It's a thin crust pizza. It's a hard crust. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? I didn't eat the crust yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So overall, what would you give this pizza an overall rating? Oh, something the crust. Yeah. Crust. There's some pizza in the crust. Okay. And I'll give it a, a eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. Um, due to the kind of the greasiness, and I'm I'm not really digging the sauce. Partially, I'm not a fan of thin crust pizzas. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, I think this is a great pizza that you could add toppings to if you wanted. Um, and if your kid loves just just no toppings at all, it's a great pizza for that. Um, you don't really see too many just plain uh, mozzarella cheese pizzas out there. So I, my overall rating was a 6 out of 10. Um, well, I guess that's our episode. And we'll see you next time on Riker and Sean's Pizza Time. We like pizza anyway. I like pizza, pepperoni, mozzarella, and anchovy. I like pizza, pizza.